St. Vincent and the Grenadines is the country. We've got 32 islands, famous for yachting, and some lovely beaches. We've got a population of about 106,000 people, and you'd find that they're some of the friendliest people you'd meet anywhere in the world. It, it, it's, a, it's a beautiful place to live, trust me. <laughs> My personal dream was to become involved with a, with a medical school, and um, a medical school that was stationed in St. Vincent. And the plan was not only to train students, but also that the university would become involved in developing the health services of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Trinity has become a, a part of the Vincentian community. I've um, been involved with Trinity from its inception and mainly because of the, the benefits I saw for the island and the great benefit for training medical students who are going to go out there and make life different for thousands of people, hundreds of thousands of people. And when, uh, I, I, was, I was most surprised when they, when they told me that the Board of Trustees had decided to name a building after me. As we dedicate this learning facility to a man that epitomizes learning and a lifetime of learning, thank you so much for all you've done for this university, my personal relationship with you, and, and all these people who adore you and thank you. We'll cut this ribbon on your behalf. My personal goal, and the goal of the university, was that we're going to build one of the best medical schools. And I'm not speaking about one of the best medical schools in the Caribbean, one of the best medical schools in the world, period. We're well on the way to that. Our students are in some of the top hospitals in the United States. I think that if you work hard for the students, if you work hard, the sky's the limit.